Magandang araw everyone. So welcome to our remote coaching. So because of lack of time, um, tapos na natin i-discuss ang modules 1 to 4 nyo. And unfortunately, nag-skip tayo ng mga some informations or part of your modules dahil nga kulang tayo sa time and we have to do our activities sa classroom. And for today, I'll be discussing and clarifying everything including the discussion for your modules 6 to 8. So, tapos na tayo sa mga pag-define ng events, events management. And also, we tackle about the seas of events, the number of attendees or participants sa isang event natin, the characteristic, and also the impact of events. We also um, discuss about the organizations and the difference between social and corporate events. So, for today's discussion, start tayo sa in-skip natin, which is the MICE, venues and events. Okay? So, dito nakalagay sa bed, the Olympic Games is considered the world longest running and biggest sporting event attracting thousands of athletes, sports officials, and tourists. The host country of any Olympic event, and ayan yung mga Summer Olympics, Winter Olympics, Paralympics, allocates considerable resources and manpower to organize this full four-week event. If managed well, the Olympic can yield economic benefits, of course, for the host country by raising the profile of their other tourist attractions, products, and institutions, and attracting tourist capital and investment flow. So, sabi po dito, pag daw po ang isang event or isang malaking event like Olympic game naging successful, meron po siyang domino, domino effect sa isang country host niya. Diyan po na promote na natin ang mga ano, ating products, services, institutions. Um, of course, magkaka-contribute po ito sa ating economic growth. And you know, uh, while um, talking about my venues, um, the term venue and or site, kadalasang ginagamit ito um, interchangeably by events managers um, with venue used mainly for built structures and site for outdoor spaces. Pag sinabi naman natin na site, um, it also has more general use for range of locations na kung saan it can turn be transformed into event venues like hindi for example like for concerts okay meron tayong mga hindi ginagamit na lupa or malaking space na kung saan pwede tayong mag um, come up or magtayo ng isang venue like for example Coachella yun yung mga site na tinatawag po natin um, like events are held or ginaganap siya sa mga convention centers, hotels, clubs, restaurants, and many other places. Pag sinabi naman po natin na facilities, eto naman po yung ginagamit natin, particularly, like for example, um, the context of sport facility or convention facility. In this chapter, of course, the various um, attributes of event sites will be considered. Kung baga pag-uusapan po natin yung mga event venues, mga lugar kung saan po ba kadalasan ginag uh, nagkakandak ng mga conferences, exhibitions, and whatsoever. And of course, we have to analyze the venue or site requirement. Um, like, evaluate the sustainability of the venue site, venue or site. Um, you have uh, to consider the functionality of the venue and the uh, suitability of the site for event creative purposes kasi sometimes it attracts okay nakaka-attract po talaga siya like for example yung mga patrong pangbansa po natin like um also yung mga pageants natin for example yung mga host country nila it actually attracts and of course syempre maraming suppliers investors na possible na tumulong sa event natin okay so let's talk about the mice venues okay Ito naman yung mga venues natin in Asia. Okay, ibig sabihin po, sa Asia naman po ito. Okay, so first po dyan, pag-uusapan po natin ay ang, sa module po natin, sabi dyan, Asian governments and businesses in China and Thailand have poured investments to improve facilities and increase accommodations to further develop the mice industry in their countries. Sa Asia, like Beijing, Bangkok, Hong Kong, and Singapore have made it to the top 15 convention cities in the world. The best mice venues in Asia by the World Luxury Tourism, a highly respected website for tourism and events professional. Sila po ang nagsabi na 
karamihan daw po ng malalaking venues for conferences, exhibitions, meetings, like congress, whatsoever, kadalasan po ay nakikita po ito sa Asia or sa atin din po. Okay, now let's talk about the mice venues in Asia. Okay? Nakalagay po dyan, like for example, um, nakalagay dyan yung Singapore Expo Convention Exhibition Center, the Marina Bay Sands Expo and Convention Center, Asia World Expo, and Canton Pair Complex. Okay. Diyan po, ayan po yung mga list. Pwede natin siyang isearch. So, hindi natin siya isa-isahin kasi uh, you can see it naman na po sa ating mga, sa internet para makita natin kung ano ba yung itsura nila, mga ganyan. And, moving forward po sa ating major mice trade show in the world. Kung bagay, ito po yung one of a kind. Andiyan po ang IME or the Asia Pacific Incentive and Meeting Expo. Kindly memorize yung mga ito po. Andiyan din yung ITCMA sa Bangkok, Thailand or ang Incentive Travel and Convention Meeting Asia. The CIBIM or CIVIM of China, the China Incentive Business Travel and Meeting Exhibitions. The IBTM Uh, on or in Orlando, Chicago, USA, Chicago, USA, the America's Incentive Business Travel and Meeting Exhibitions, the IMEX, the World Exhibition for Incentive Travel Meeting and Events in Las Vegas, USA, and Germany, of course. Okay, so sabi nga po dito, um, yung MICE daw po, it represents for events have built. Yan dyan yung meeting, incentive, conferences, and convention and exhibitions. Recently, of course, there there has been an um, industry initiative to refer to this acronym as the Meeting in Industry. Other in um, other industry professionals have also started using the umbrella term Business Event Industry na pag-uusapan po natin. So, napag-usapan na natin dyan yung um, meetings, incentives, convention, conference, and exhibitions. Kadalasan po, ito po yung mga companies or organization kung ba't po sila nag-organize. Ito po yung mga reasons. Andiyan po yung, of course, to, to reward yung mga customers, to build relationship and other customers, to repeat business and customer retention, to increase sales, to gather data for clients, customer base, to raise and enhance companies' public relations, networking among participants, and of course, to raise funds for projects. So, kalahat naman po yan, may reason po. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang isang event po, kailangan may purpose po siya and impact. Okay. So, next, pag-usapan natin ang MICE events in the Philippines and the top conventions and exhibition facilities in the Philippines. Okay. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to, ayan po yung mga sumusunod na yan, so moving forward. So of course, andyan po ang um, the PICC or the MICE in the Philippine and Philippine International Convention Center. The development of Philippine convention industry become official government po policy in 1976. A milestone year that the market, okay, incentives Establish of Southeast Asia first full-fledged convention center, the Philippine International Convention Center, na may kita po natin. So, the following po, ang mga sumusunod na pag-uusapan natin mamaya yung mga lugar, ipapakita ko yung mga pictures niya. So, ngayon pag-uusapan po natin ang the Tourism Promotion Board or the TPB. Okay. Nakasunod po ba tayo sa ating modules? Okay, sabi po dyan... Um, sabi dyan, ang TBP is a corporate body attached to the Philippine Department of Tourism or the PDOT that is re responsible for marketing and promoting the Philippines as a global tourism destination. Its Convention and Incentive Travel or CIT unit in particular provides comprehensive information, technical assistance, and guidance to planners, organizers, katalasan po, yung mga event service management, um, event management services natin, um, connected po sila sa CIT and PDOT. Bakit po? To promote po and to market their events and future events nga po. Okay, so medyo nag-cut dito sa ano natin, sa ating, um, they call this, sa ating presentation, pero may kita nyo po dyan, sa ating um, modules nyo or sa modules nyo. First, pag-usapan natin yung roles po or yung mga, like for example, services and business solution to convention and meeting planners and incentive travel 
organizers, yung mga the role of TBP, okay? Promotion board. Okay, first is the sales and promotions. Sabi po dyan, sa sales and promotion, it's uh, it aggressive Philippine participant in my specific international trade shows and exhibitions or expositions. The conduct of sales mission aboard the, and the organization of regular MICE buyer invitational programs to the Philippines and bid pre preparations, license, promotion, material support, technical visits, attentions, and promotions. Ayan po yung mga yon. Kindly memorize po. Kahit hindi nyo na ayan na yung mga meaning nila. I-memorize ang ating itong anim po na ito. Again, ito po yung mga conventions and meeting planner and incentive travel organizers. Okay. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Papakita ko po sa inyo yung mga top conventions ex and, and exhibition facilities in the Philippines. Sabi nga nila, hindi lang daw po tayo yung lugar na kung saan maraming mga pine sands, parang um, nice sunset views, or mga crystal clear waters. Pwede rin po tayo makipagsabayan sa mga convention exhibition facilities all over the world. So ngayon po, iisa-isahin po natin yung mga yan. So first, we have the Philippine International Convention Center or the PIC. PICC, okay? Ang PICC po, may kita nyo po yan. Ngayon, hanggang ngayon po, may kita yan. Um, dyan po, minsan ginaganap yung mga graduations. Ano pa? Dyan po ginaganap yung mga um, seminars or exhibitions. Uh, it is centered located um, in the cultural center of the Philippine complex. Sa Pasay po ito, Metro Manila, Philippines. Um, this facility has been the host of numerous local and foreign conventions, meeting fairs, and social events. Okay. Next po natin, we have the SMX Convention. Ano? Center. Parang as classroom lang tayo, no? <laughs> Nagkatanong si Sir. Okay. Um, SMS Convention Center, marami po siyang branches. It is the largest privately owned convention center in the country. Um, it is the premier venue of meetings and events since 1992. Meron dyan sa MOA, meron sa Pampanga, meron sa Cebu, meron sa Dabao. Kadalasan po ng mga major cities natin, meron po silang SMX Convention Center. Next, we have the World Trade Center. Sa Manila naman po ito. May kita nyo pa rin po ito pag pupunta kayo MOA. Okay. Ayan, uh, for a minute. Okay. Ang World Trade Center sa Metro Manila po um, is the venue of many of the major exhibition and trade show that particular participate by the foreign de um, dele uh, delegations. Okay, Napak isa po siyang malak malawak pa napasok kayo na parang sobrang spacious. Napakalaki niya. Okay? Ang location po, nag o siya ng excellent visitor mileage and accessibility to the international airport and seaport, of course. Okay? And it is internationally affiliated. Okay? Safe naman po siya. Flexible, contiguous space and grade level. And of course, is ingress and egress po siya. Next po natin, the Cebu International Convention Center. Pinakmalaking convention center po siya sa Cebu. Okay, so moving forward. Module 6, 7, and 8 na po tayo. And now for your module 6, uh, let's talk about the economic benefits of mice industry. Okay. So, I hope uh, nakakasunod pa tayo. So, we'll be learning about the economic benefits of mice industry. And we will be learning the reason why governments all over the world are exerting too much effort, time, passion, and resources in order, to uh, in order for their city or country to be mice event destination. But before we tackle that, let us have a little review for our past module. So, sa modules nyo, kindly list down below the top convention and exhibition facilities in the Philippines.
Okay, just like other um, the industries under the tourism industry, the host community can be experienced and enjoy many benefits brought by the MICE events. Below is a list of the benefits that the MICE industry offers to the country. Kumbaga, for example, if you're the host country, ito po yung mga bagay na alam nyo yun, parang perks po siya na may experience ng isang host country or location or site. After magkaroon ng mice ng industry, syempre, andyan yung creating direct and indirect employment, income and profit of businesses, taxes of government, cultural and professional exchanges, showcasing new research, capacity building through access to the international and national industry leaders, and of course, providing educational and professional development, and fi finally, to strengthen the positioning for the city, industry, or the country. Okay. So we all know that mice lead to repeat leisure tourism with many delegates returning to the returning to the destinations at the later time for the holiday or bringing with them their families and friends thus bringing more income and employment to the to the destinations so ito po yung mga yon unang una po dyan. of course we have the community infrastructures Kadalasan po dito, ang benefit ng event, um, ini-encourage po niya ang infrastructure development within the city organizations. Like for example, um, Clark, di ba nag-ano tayo, Sea Game. So may kita niyo marami ng mga gymnasiums, mga facilities na pwedeng mag-cater po ng mga needs ng isang event. Ibig sabihin po nun, yung infrastructure po niya, nidevelop, nagkakaroon ng innovation para maging capable po tayo sa mga ganong event. And of course, these developments can also be enjoyed by the locals of the city or country, not just for the participants of the event. Okay. Um, there has been a huge um, injection of investment in mice events industry through this development of large hotel and convention centers. Okay, so next natin we have the direct income and ano, expend expenditure. Okay, so first, andyan po yung ano. Nagko-contribute po ito ng goods and services in the country in kasama na po dito ang hotels, convention centers, restaurants, transports, printers, food and beverage supplies, floors, name it, lahat po ito kasama sa ating um, pag-direct ng income. Okay? Sabi nga dito, in fact, it is generally accepted that the standalone convention center only attract between 5 to 10% of the expenditure. Okay? So, moving, we have the networking and industry knowledge exchange. Ano po yun? Sabi po dito, organization and individuals share uh, fundamental need to meet in person to interact, ma make connection, and maintain relationship through conferences and other MICE events. Ibig sabihin po ito na kapag uh, mayroong no, um, educational impact or the social impact na nagkakaroon po yung cities or your community. And also, we have um, the collaborations and industry platform by attending MICE and the influence, of course, MICE events provide opportunity for the local delegates to network and interact with industry, colleagues from other destinations and countries, experts and government officials, and build vital business network for trade. And din po yung mga employment, of course, maraming trabaho, kailangan ng mga facilitators, organizers, asherets, sa food industry, of course, sa mga talents, kasama naman po yan. Pag-uusapan natin dito ang the value of mice. Okay, pag sinabi natin value of mice, andyan na po yung ano. Yung the higher expenditure, even out travel demand, the prior arrangement, large scale, standardized service, enhanced secondary businesses, improved host destination image, independent to tourism attraction, no big destination, and flexibility of venue selection. Okay, pag-usapan naman po natin dito ang the e-book or the events management body of knowledge.